Here's everything new in iOS 17.4 Beta 2. And more excitedly, what's new in Vision OS 1.1. Welcome everybody, welcome friends, foe, everyone in between. It is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and Apple has just released its latest wave of beta updates. We are saying new beta updates across the board for Apple's platforms from Apple TV, to the Mac, to Apple Watch, to HomePad, to iPads. Prominently in this video, we're gonna be talking about iPhone and what's coming in iOS 17.4 beta 2, but what's a little bit different this time is we're also going to be including everything that is new for Vision OS, which received its first developer beta with uh, Vision OS 1.1 beta 1. So we actually have a beta update for Vision OS or Vision Pro. I'm gonna show you what I had to do to install that update and then what is new coming to Apple's mixed reality spatial computing headset. Let's first start off with everything new in the second beta of iOS 17.4. This time around, the update was a bit smaller, coming at only 970 megs for my iPhone 15 Pro Max. If we go into settings, general, then about, then tap on the iOS version. It's iOS 17.4. Uh, the build number is 21E5195E. As always, as we get closer to A with that final number, that's gonna tell you the stability of this build. So as we are getting closer and closer to A, the more stable this is, not a huge jump from the last beta. So I'm not saying anyone's gonna be, you know, jumping on this now on the beta train, but we are getting closer and closer to a final release. This should be released coming in March. Um, but otherwise, there doesn't seem to be anything actually new in this beta that I am noticing so far. I went to this in much more detail in my last video, so if you're interested in all their changes coming in iOS 17.4, uh, you can jump back there, but high level, most of the changes are gonna be going to be coming to EU users. Apple is allowing third-party app marketplaces, aside from the App Store, to download apps. There's new payment options for developers to implement in their apps and different payment methods to pay Apple that developers can opt into. We're going to have third-party app or third-party browser engines aside from Apple's WebKit and third-party apps will be able to use the NFC chips in there and we'll have third-party wallets inside of, instead of just Apple Wallet. So lots of changes for the EU. On top of that, Apple has announced that they're going to be allowing game streaming apps that'll be able to have an entire library within them that'll be coming to everybody and a slew of new emojis. So again, those and other details in that last video. So what about with Vision Pro in Vision OS 1.1 Beta 1? Let's go ahead, strap it on, and I'll tell you about what is new. Here we are inside of settings. You can see we're running Vision OS 1.1. The build number is 2105181E. We're looking towards that A, towards that final digit there. Let's go ahead and close out of settings. First thing, Apple did announce that MDM is coming, so this will work with mobile device management software thanks to this update. We also have contact key verification, so for messages, that has been updated here. We're not getting things like the additional environments. I was hoping to see that, but you can see several of these are still actually blocked out. So they're still blocked out. Those will be coming in future updates. We still have the same original array that we had before. Looking at the apps, these are all still also the same. I was hoping that we'd see more apps here from the compatible apps upgraded, maybe maps or home, anything like that. But no, these are the same ones that were in here before that were Apple made, but no new ones have actually been added to the app uh, view that are 100% made for Vision OS. One thing here inside of settings, you're actually able now to change and erase your passcode. So if you forgot your passcode, it's able to be reset now. Before, if you forgot your passcode for Vision Pro, there was no way for you to reset it. You would actually have to take it to the Apple store or ship it to Apple to have them reset it. So that was glad to be updated here in the first 1.1 beta. For me, the music app, now actually opens. This kept crashing in the first one and I could not play anything, which was such a bummer. So I'm glad this is actually functioning fully and correctly now. Big, big improvement, like just the fact that it wouldn't work at all in the first beta. There also, according to the release notes, appears to be the ability to move 3D objects closer to you. So before there was like a degree of how close they get to your face. Now it looks like that has been improved. You can go even closer, which is going to make the most sense for things like games and other 3D objects. They'll be able to get closer to your face. So that's it. That seems to be what is new in Vision OS 1.1, at least in this first beta. So what do you guys think? Let me know if you like the changes coming in 1.1 for Vision OS and for iPhone in 17.4. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU, on threads at AndrewHara941. Always stay tuned. We'll keep you up to date with all the latest software and changes coming 
to Apple's platforms.